Well, hey everybody, welcome back to BG Games and Videos. I'm BG's not here, but I got news for you. He's coming. He's coming back. He's going to be back uh, for Christmas break, so uh, we're thinking of doing something. So stay tuned. In the meantime, um, let's see here. Yes, uh, I am currently level 8. So much has happened. Uh, I've been, I have a new monitor, so the, the overall resolution has been improved. Uh, in terms of the width of the screen, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but the frame rate is still kind of crappy, and I think that has to do with my processor. I have a great tower uh, that has been with me for a very, very long time, and a great card that does really well. But as you can see, if I move around here, it looks good to me, but on the on the capture, it does not look so good. So uh, I am going to work towards uh, getting that all resolved really soon. So just put up with me in the meantime, if you're still with me. Uh, open silver for free. Let's open silver for free. What do we get? What do we get? No whammies. Humble pile of copper scraps. I'll take that. I'll take that definitely. Uh, new mail. Deed bestowed. Blindsided. That was from before. And I still haven't picked up the mail. We'll pick up the mail sometime today. Uh, went up this hill uh, while I was doing some test runs and saw that there was other, other gift givers. Uh, Hallowed ground is beautiful land, is it not? I wondered it often in my youth, but places that were once fair have long since fallen into decay. Some of the older ruins have even become habitations for foul creatures that gnaw on the edges of our lands. Uh, the ruins of Tham Galer, Galer, west of Salendim. I still got to figure that out. I was going to go online and learn the pronunciations for half of these things and I didn't do it uh, has become infested with foul creatures if you could slay any you find uh, yes I will do that there's shoulder pads medium armor smith How may I be of service to you? while I was testing yesterday I also got another humble pile of scraps so this is going to give me 200 silver yes okay nothing else to sell alright let's go is there any other no other quest givers immediately on the map. There's a boyer right there. Uh, is there anybody down here? There used to be one down here. But she's not there anymore. Okay. And that's the mythal trader. All right, so we're going to head off here. Oh, wait a minute. Deliver the wood to Brigadier and Kaelin. Okay. Salandim. Salandim? Salandim. Salandim. <laughs> I'm just going to spend the entire episode trying to pronounce this place that I'm stuck in correctly, and I'm not going to do it right. Uh, this way. And then I tell you what, uh, just because I want to keep this storyline moving forward a little bit, but uh, I will do, if you guys are interested, and all nine of you, <laughs> if you guys are interested, I'll do a, a I'll, I'll set them up as a as a crafting profession of some sort. Where am I going? There we go. There we go. There we go. That's right. And drop off the wood. There we go. Megavodden. 42 copper. I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, Cooper and Cask, and he's Sweet got one for me. Deliver the wine cask to Breathland outside of Laymo's Vineyard. Okay, yeah, happy to do that. I'll take 90 copper for that. Moving on. All right, so we're still in that phase where all my other characters, they have horses. Heck, they have goats, mountain goats that are quick, quick mountain goats that you can only ride in Moria, or that will only, that you, yeah. Yes. No. To be able to ride in Moria, you need to have those things. You, you can't use a horse in Moria. Um, it was very, very frustrating because you, you get to spend all this time getting your horse and getting your horse faster than you get into Moria. And it's like, oh, no, can't do it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, bruh. Uh, defeat foul creatures in Tham Galier. I think it's just up here. Is it up here? Look at the pretty foliage. Which to you probably looks like a bunch of pixels. Uh, what was that? A scurrying li harbor rat. Bunch of raspberries. I think you can. No, maybe not. Can I go up this way? I better be able to go up this way. Okay. Falathorn. Falathorn. Yep. 
Here we go. Here we go. Hallowed ground. Now, th I'm not going to lie. This is the place I usually... There's a bunch of... Woo, this, this is the... Oh, oh, bear just picking on a rat. Um, this is the place where I usually lose my... Uh, undefeated way early on just because well in the past it used to be they had goblins flipping everywhere everywhere but it looks like this place just got cleaned out which means they're gonna pop up all over so I better back up I better back up let's back up and wait for the respawn because I don't see nothing around here right now. There's just nothing. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Middle Earth, <laughs> where nothing happens. Now, it'll happen. They'll spawn. Oh, uh, they'll spawn. And when they do, it won't be pretty. Watch. They've probably dumbed this place down dramatically, which is why there's nothing around. They've killed all six things that were <laughs> available for you to kill. Um... Howling Grey Wolf. That looks like they're... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just keep running around until I find something. I got my stance on. I got my stance on. Um, Scaring Harbor Rat. Let's just try this guy. Does this count? Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. That counts. I could have killed it. I could have killed a bunch of them. Uh, let's run inside. What do we have inside? Now I should have got... Oh, there's a wolf. Gonna do quick shot. Uh, and I just wasted the penetrating shot. Oh, but there's another one. Somewhere. Oh, right there. There we go. It's really all about how you order the, uh, for, for me, it's really about how you order the, the different uh, functions and attacks on, um, on your keyboard. Because there's, there's one class called a warden, which is they, they're built on gambits. Oh, something's after me. Why am I wasting? Come on. There we go. Okay. Wolf down. Uh, based on gamuts, which basically you have to different attacks to lead you up to a specific special attack. Uh, and and you've got like three different things, but it, the combinations become just ludicrous in terms of what you have to come up with. Barbed arrow. There we go. That's five. So I've got a warden, which I I like playing, but it's been a while since I played them, and the gambits again are, are so so crazy. Um, I got another one over here. Ooh, drop a fine harbor rat. Yeah. He's dead. Oh, I got another focus. Okay, with focus, what can we do with that? Focus uh, basically adds one focus point every three seconds before combat rapidly increase your focus. Okay, let's uh, make that a control one. All right, so we're done. No, am I done? Place the angler's token about the stone table. No, we're not done. I'm glad I checked. Isn't this fun? I'm having a blast. I don't know about you. Drop a fine hover clinic. Can I pick it up? I can pick it up. Usually that kind of stuff you can only pick up if it's a... Uh, if you're a, uh, a tradesman of some sort. But apparently... Stone table? Stone table? No. Stone table. Who's coming after me? Token placed. Talk to... Oh, well, then we're good to go. All right. Well, the let's uh, quickly. Ooh, there's a wolf. I can probably use the skins. Barbed. Let's try this. 
Okay. Just did a penetrating shot. Oh! He cut me! I was bleeding. What did we get from all that? Hey, not too bad. They all fly past. No, they're not going to bother me. They're just a pest. And I'm just going to run down the hill. Keep running. So yeah, so the, going back to what I was saying earlier, you spend all this time, all this time getting your horse, getting it all worked up. You get to Moria and it's like, nope, you got to run again. And Moria, believe me, is vast. It's amazing just how vast it is. Uh, oh, something's after me. Who's after me? Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. In the face. There we go. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Stab in the face. This is a little circle right here that if should you die, you pop up there. And there's a guy to protect you. Should you need it. Uh, this guy is down here. I'll never forget when I first got this game. Uh, the computer I bought it for, uh, I used to play Dark Age of Camelot, and it was, it did okay. It didn't do great. The frame rate really, really was, I mean, I rubber banded all the time. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, I got this game, and, uh, let's go with the shoulder guides. Kalen Girls Vigil, Ezen Dwilan. So yeah, we'll say yes, and we'll go get 90, uh, bronze pieces just for talking to a guy in Dwilan. Uh, so yeah, so I get this, and I'm, of course I want to play an elf. I don't know why. I, I have an affinity to the elf population. And, uh, and so I create this elf character that actually I still have, I think, on this server. And, uh... <laughs> And the thing about the elf, about uh, this entire area, this Air Luin area, is, is that you know the elves, you know they, they build these nice high arched bridges and so forth, but not a lot of railings, and so <laughs> because my server really couldn't handle it, here I am running over these bridges. And you're actually about to see this one. I think they actually put railings up this time around. Yep, they did, because <laughs> of the time. Originally, they didn't have it, and I was run off. It was this bridge right here. I never got any further. Um, of course, you know, at the same time, everybody's just starting the game, so this area is completely massively populated. There goes a guy. How you doing, dude? And uh, I would just, I'd keep falling off into the water and dying. It was really, really sad. The Gray Hill Bucks. Apparently, you can't. Uh... Okay. So what we're going to do, what, are, what am I doing now, you ask? That's a good question. we got to drop off this cask uh, at this place where uh, Pantbrush is also at. It's uh, the vineyard. And so I figured, let's go ahead and take care of that. While we're at it, though, I did, uh, ooh, no, yeah, yeah, loot all. And let's put the new, yes. So my armor just went up a little bit. The sows are good. Yeah. They'll kind of warn at you. They won't attack you. Uh, troublesome veil flies. They will attack you. Uh, but I'm not really into that right now. Restless th thistle tusk. Thick tusk. Yeah. Wild gray wolf. Ooh, we're in the... Okay, well, we'll start. And I've got... So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, so these are yellows and whites. Okay. Yellow, obviously, is a little higher than you. White is your roaming thick tusk. Well, let's try it. See what we get. See just how good or bad he is. Oh, no, he's good. Modeled hair. If I was a cook, that'd be great. I think we were just over there. See that? Let's say hello. Uh, ooh, Restless Thick Tusk. Are you going to attack me? No. Apparently, maybe not. Maybe they just get, if you get too close. Roaming Thick Tusk. There is one boar that will attack you outright. Okay, Blue Crag Defiler. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no aggro. No aggro. 
Okay, I'm just wasted. Oh, no, still have it. Thank goodness. Blue Crag Sentinel. That's it. Blue Crag Sentinel. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I still got the focus for it. And a quick shot and a penetrating shot. No. Okay, didn't do the penetrating shot. Thought I did it. Didn't do it. Didn't happen. All right. Blue Crag Defiler. Make them bleed. There we go. That's right. Blue Crag Sentinel still have the focus. Nicely done. Quick shot. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Use your focus wisely. You have chosen poorly. Uh, we'll do barbed arrow again. Just was able to pull that off with just barbed arrows. Um, now, Rowan Branches, that's for woodworking, copper deposits, obviously mining. Um, if you're a smith and stuff like that. Okay, Defiler. Let's just... There we go. You're dead. Here's another Defiler. Barbed. Let's see how fast we can do this. At the same time, I don't want to lose. Ooh, leveled up. Level 9. We've got another one up here. Sentinel. Barbed. Do a barbed again. Why not? Yeah. Quick. Up. Oh, and he died from the bleeding. Ooh, we got more up there. And I think Pepperush is this way. There's one up here. Uh, there was... How many do we got over that way? We got two over that way. Oh, this will be a pain in the rear, Tuckus. All right, let's do it. Oh, I'm doing this way. Crap. Okay. Let's. Ooh, got him with one. And didn't even get the aggro for it. I like it. Blue Crag Defiler. I am an elf on a mission, folks. Quick shot. Barbdero. Oh, I got a sentinel on me, too. Oh, God, I got two of them. Come on, come on. Come on, in the face. There we go. That's right. You died well. All right. I got another one up here. Quick shot. Barbed. At one level, I think Barbed is able to slow them down as well. I don't know if it's... Oh, here he is. Here's Pamprosh. Let's... He should be far enough away from aggro. Got him. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Now, wasn't it? Uh, I wonder if she's over there. Deliver the wine cask. No, she's back this way. All right, well, we got Pamprosh. Uh, there's the other defiler. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Too far away. Yeah, the spec I got right now is like medium. Ooh, blocked. Uh, medium range. Uh, there's another one that I'm going to add on for the next episode, which is uh, Sniper Long Range, which is kind of nice. Oh, God, I missed her. I should have got him. It's a dar, 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 dar. Okay, quick shot. There we go. Barbed shot. Um... So yeah, it's it's really really kind of cool. Uh, this is actually a good uh, spec for soloing uh, because it allows you to be able to move and shoot at the same time. Um, but uh, obviously your distance is cut down. The sniper is is pretty pretty damn 
sorry, pretty darn amazing though in terms of their ability to effectively take out an enemy at long distance. If you're if you got good bow, if you give good bow, then you've got the ability to completely wipe out an enemy before they can even get in range doing any damage to you. All right, moving on here. See if I can run by them without aggroing. There she is. Miss America. Hello. Need of a cask. Three light melons. You may be of service to me. Breathlins, work gloves. Yeah, okay, gleaning the field. Yes, this would mean I have to go back and get all this great. I should have gotten to her before I went there to hit on Pamprush. But that's all right. That's perfectly okay. Uh, available quest, Three rare vintage. Will you stay Collect wine me? flasks. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, but I tell you what, we're going to call that an episode right now. Um, so I'll pick this up. Uh, not a lot of craziness going on. I wanted to do a little bit more talking seriously about the game. But uh, big news, uh, just so you know, real fast before I go, uh, G is coming back into town, and we are going to do a special of some sort. Uh, I'm thinking I'm calling it the War on Christmas special, but, you know, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, and uh, there may be some sort of fundraising attached to that. We'll let you know more about that uh, in the next day or so. As well as uh, there is a fundraising event going on on my other channel, uh, which is my personal channel, Nicholas Rose, otherwise known as Bard Actor, uh, which uh, basically my wife and I are going to read on December 19th, we're going to read A Christmas Carol in its entirety, uh, live feed, uh, and we're going to be, uh, obviously there'll be a donation card up there uh, to help out Reach Out and Read, which is an organization that provides uh, books uh, uh, free to pediatric offices and clinics uh, and for them to pass along to uh, families in need and encourage them to read aloud to their children. So it, it sort of encourages literacy at, at the ground level. So, uh, firmly believe in that cause, I think it's an awesome cause, and we we felt that it would be what better time of year to read A Christmas Carol than Christmas. And, uh, you know, it ties in with the whole reading thing. So, all right, I'm done talking. Thanks, thanks, and everyone. Thanks for stopping on. Bye, folks. Until then, we'll see you soon. I love you all. Take care. B -N -G.